today I'm going to be showing you how to make use of the onboarding tool in your agency. It's actually a wonderful tool that you can use for your clients. You can use it to make sure that your clients do only what you want them to do without clicking up and down in your GHL account. Let's get started without further ado. But the first thing you need to have in mind is that let's assume that you already have bought the onboarding tool for, with GHL plugins. And if you have done so, you should be able to see the onboarding tool in your account. And all you have to do is to click on it. Sure enough, you're gonna. If you have used the onboarding tool before, you're gonna see a couple of onboarding tools already in there. If you haven't, you're gonna see only two, and those are the templates that we give to you. You can modify however you feel it. First thing that you have to do is to I'm just gonna move myself a little bit is to click on the onboarding tool templates that we provide for you. And before you do that, I'm gonna show you this row, which is the type. Before you go inside, you have to know that. The type here stands for who you want the onboarding tool to be shown to. If you want it to be shown only to the agency admins, you can leave it agency admin, but most of the time you're going to want it to be shown to the clients. Clients until your sub account admins and your sub account users. Anybody who is a sub account admin or a sub account user is going to see the onboarding tool when you change it to clients. For the sake of testing, I'm just going to leave it as agency admin because I don't want clients to see what I'm doing right now. But once you're done, you got to change this to clients to make sure that your clients should see this and not. Act. I'm going to go with, along with this ultimate onboarding template five or ultimate onboarding. You can start from as fresh. It works the same way. Nothing different to go along with this one. I'm just going to click on the setup. And once you click on setup, you're presented with a set of 15, 15 tools here. Or if you're starting from a fresh, you're, you're not going to see anyone, but it works the same way. Like I said, and the first thing we want to modify here this the, the principle is actually simple you just have to click on the section you want to modify and you get modifying it the first thing we want to modify is probably the title so if i click on the title right here probably i can change it welcome to our platform i can change to whatever i want welcome to our platform one two three and it's changing as you're changing and then you have the, or the description i'll call it like that this is the de description and one thing you should have in mind is that if you want your client to only unblock their menu once they are done with the onboarding completely, this is where you get it. Restrict menu. Restrict menu is, means that your clients are going to have their menu restricted until they are done with their onboarding. Automatic pop-up means that um, this is in case you also got the custom start, the custom launchpad actually, that's how it's called. The custom launchpad, if you, want, if you don't want it to pop up automatically, say that you don't like it um, to pop up automatically, you want it to pop up only by the press of a button, you can click here in such a way that when it's not when it's not clicked, it's never gonna pop up unless there's a button that you say they should click before it pops up. But if you don't click there, if it's checked, immediately the client comes in, the client is gonna be able to see it each time that the client logs in until the client has completed the onboarding. Primary color is an important factor as it is right here, it might not be your agency colors you want to change it to your colors you can change it to whatever color you feel is right for your agency that really depends on you that all of that can be set up in the title here the second thing you want to set up are the steps let's say that you wanted to add a new step and in this case there are already 15 steps it doesn't matter i'm just going to add a new one to add a new step you just need to come if you add a couple of ones already you just need to come and add click on this copy and it's going to create the same step right now and once you click on it on the step you can change the step title you can change the step description and then the action each step has a couple of things that you can change the first thing is the title the description the second thing and then the third thing the action the action is what you want the step to do there are a couple of actions here actually many of them you can want it to go to an external page in this case you've got to provide the external link page link you can see it here you can want it to go to i'm just going to move myself one more time you can want it to go to the custom menu link in this case and this is a good one a lot of people are looking for this if you want it to go to a custom menu link so on say an onboarding tool or whatever you just get have to go to the onboarding the custom menu link in this case if i wanted to go to this dashboard you know all this custom value form i'm hope I, I just hope it's working if it is then that's good all right let's say i wanted to go to this one i'm just going to copy this and paste it right here and i can just name it to go to the custom values right that's another thing and 
that that's what the actions can do. There are actually a lot of actions. You want it to go to the launch pad, to the dashboard, to the conversation. You just gotta search what you want. Business, you want to go to the business logo. And one thing I should let you know is that if you wanted to go to a page where there are many things that we've listed, you just need to choose any of them. Business type, business logo, act, actually it goes to the same page. So you could just choose any of them. Just type where you want it to go and then just choose any of the things that are located in that page and it's going to take the person to that page. Now the instructions, this is a good one also. When it goes to the page that you want, you might want it to show you some instructions, set of instructions, just gonna, you got to click on setup. And in the setup, you can do two things. You can put any HTML that you want or any text that you want, or you can decide to embed a video here. The video is just in, uh, as simple as getting the embed link, be it from YouTube, YouTube, be it from Loom or whatever. And actually, I'm just going to pause this video and get a quick Loom video and embed it so you see how it looks like. I just added like, maybe I should do it one more time. Maybe I'm just going to delete this. Hey there, just want to show you a couple of things. I just added this video. I'm just going to clear it and show you. To add a video, all you need to do is to paste the embed code that you've gotten. In this case, I got this embed code from Loom and I inserted it here and all, boom, it appears. So each time that it takes the person to the action that has to be completed, it's going to pop up and show this video first as instructions. And then the person is going to complete the instructions, complete the actions while watching the instructions or watch the instructions first, then complete the actions. Comes in very handy. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop here for the first part, and thank you for listening.